Alright guys, um, it's a weekend video, and basically, it's just because this week I've had a hard time, uh, which I know this is part of the journey, you know, but I also want to go back and see if there's anything that I could have done better this week, uh, because I feel like this week maybe my emotions were a little bit more in control of me. Um, yes, I was able to pass the challenge this week, and I think having been able to pass the challenge with such a high, like, win rate, and yeah, basically I was losing maybe, I only had really one losing day, I had maybe like one break-even day, and then I've had three losses the whole time. The, the last and during that the ten percent. So now with this five percent happening, and um, I'm already down more than I have been in the whole challenge. The whole ten percent challenge it throws me off a bit. So what I want to do right now is pretty much see if um, there's anything I could have done better, especially because I was more emotional some of those days and. Um, yeah, so let's see when I don't be not my days. We started Monday, right? So Monday. Let's go back to Monday of this week. Yeah, right here. Bruh. Alright. All right, let's see. I would have marked this high right here. I would have marked this low right here. All right. Um, let's see this. I waited for a entry. Retest and that would have been an entry right there for me. One for one to one. This would have been my entry on uptrends as well. 1130. Sheesh, way later in the day. Levels are good. Yeah, yeah. This is already like what one fifteen. But I've been holding this trade. I don't know. I don't think so. How late into the day this is. You see, like things like this, I hate about. Back testing, it's like, bro, I wouldn't do this in real life. So, what could I do better when it's late like this? Okay, let's see. This would have been my entry, yes. Could I do a tighter stop loss or a tighter TP? Let's see. If I would have done, let's see. Let's say I would have taken this exact trade, I would have done this my stop loss right below here no one to one but almost hit my tp okay okay that would have hit my take profit okay also i could do this too which is I get that break, I get the red candle, I get this green candle also has a retest, then it close green, which is should be a perfect entry. So the thing about me is that I take trades, usually I wait for a break, right? So let's say I wait for this break right here, 
place my stop loss right here and I place my one to one right here okay I could have even gone for a one to two taking trades like this okay so what is this telling me I could take more trades this way I could keep this break a structure or I could even do this I could even wait for this break which I usually do instead of waiting for a whole another green candle to happen okay. all right let's see so that's one day and so that means that around 11 and stuff I still have opportunities but after 12 things die out in my opinion or like one by one so I uh, would want to cancel that. I'm going to go to the four hour. We want to clean this up. And then we want to go to the next day. At nine. And then the thing is that I don't even be getting on at nine. I'll be getting on later. See, like I would be getting on right here. But let's say this is my day. Right here. This to me. What would I do? I'll mark this this low right here. Alright, this high. And then I'll make nah it's a low to me. I'll mark this the high right here. Let's go to 15 minutes. So we're going for an uptrend. Or it can be because it's I could see this as a retest right, right in this this area right here. To be honest. So let's see. This is break a structure. That's an uptrend on the on the on here on the, on the uh, 50 minute right. On the four hour, I'm expecting what? A continuation uptrend or a downtrend? Up, down, up, down, up, so an uptrend, right? That's what I should be looking for. Alright, so what should I wait for now? I came here late. I mean, honestly, I would have taken this trade right here because I would have been up at 7, whatever. I think I probably did take this trade to the same. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. I took this trade right here. Maybe. It might have been another trade, but whatever. Anyways, point is, if I got in here at 9, I would wait for a pullback right here. And not getting any pullback. Right. And by now it's 9.45. I mean, now it looks good. So let's see. Nope. This point, this candle. Candle closed here. So now it's a red candle. So it should be now going for cells so I could do this right here go for this and go for a one-to-one -one. does that work Let's see okay I'm losing trade mm. yeah I would I, I wouldn't do anything different right I'll put it above that wick. Other than this, it'll just still be the same thing. Yeah. And I would have lost a whole percent. And now it's 1230. Okay. Let's go to our four hour.
one, so I have five, and then one more Kella. All right, back. So what am I saying here? What am I thinking here? <laughs> I'm thinking reversal, right? Because I think this is still on an uptrend. Since I still think this is on an uptrend, what level should I be caring about? Just this one? Should I just be caring about this one? Alright, and then this high. Yeah. Shouldn't care about these as much. Because <laughs> it didn't respect it. So let's see. This is almost 15 minutes. And then, okay, there we go. So we're seeing possibly this break of structure right here. It's fading to create lows. It could either be this to be super safe, or I go wait for one more camera. So for one more. Let's wait for one more. Okay. A pullback. That looks good. I can do this. I can do this. And go for a one to one. Okay. What was wrong with this trade when I took it? I did this. I did this. I did this. This wasn't the trade that I took. I know that I took GU. Um. So what does what does this tell me? Maybe I should wait. For um, a better pullback, maybe because if I got on early, I could even this looks like a good trade to me. So, tell me this 830. So, why didn't I take this trade? It's a push. Down, it then fails to create a, a lower low. Up again, it fails to create another lower low. Fails to break the structure. Then creates this green candle. I want to create a safe, safe trade, right? Above the four hour level. I could do this. So why don't I take that? Right here, I probably would have gotten a break even <clears throat> because I don't think I would have, or maybe I would have it. I have stop loss. Come on, huh? Take the no one minute because it's for here. Probably would have had it here if I like if I um would have done it. I probably would have been holding it like that. Holy, yeah! Look at that. <laughs> oh, that would have killed me, bro. Still a good entry. I think maybe I'm just playing a little too safe on my entries and making my stop losses maybe a little too big in this market. 
maybe because it's like it's still part of my plan still the trades that i would take it's just maybe i'm playing a little too safe because of whatever reason i had an opportunity here to enter and I had an opportunity here to enter what was going on here at the same time this is what was it the 19th The 15 minute. Nope, the same thing was going on. So, why? You know what's the thing? Is that I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. Because I could have got into this trade right here, too. But I guess it's just because it doesn't look as clean, so I'm not as confident. But I should start understanding that this is a level right here. This is another level right here, and they look good. It, it is fading to create a lower low, even though they're not like this. They still look good. I think in moments like this, what trips me out is sometimes when I'm talking with my friends, we have contradicting ideas, and maybe I feel like I have to prove myself a little too much and just be extra sure that I win this trade because if not they get the actual like I guess it would be con having contradicting thoughts about why am I taking a buy or why am I looking for buys if, we're, if this is for sales and to me I go off I go based off of market structure more than anything so look at that i go based off of market structure more than anything they trade a little bit differently so i think that when i'm going against what they're seeing it it trips me out a little bit because uh you know who knows but okay so i got this this pattern right here this one Okay, I'm not that great of a teacher yet, but this, but I can do that more often, take those types of trades more often, stop being so afraid, Try, stop looking for so much conf confirmation, or even, even like, if I am waiting for more confirmation, I would have done this, then this, but I got a one-to-one, -one. I probably would have won that, right? think so <laughs> maybe not yeah never mind i remember this but whatever it would have been like a much better like loss i would have at least been closer to my profit rather than losing it losing half of my percentage this is just on eu which is like i don't know all right let's turn this up Let's go on to our next day. This is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for all of my candles right here. All right, so uh, this day tripped me out, bro. So what I'm, what I saw was this: a higher high, a higher low, right? Continuation to the upside, that's what I'm seeing. Especially because it's pushing up. Now, the thing here is that this is huge wick. Let's go down to the 15 minute. <clears throat> okay. Going up to this. Okay, there you go. Alright, um, so you know, double, double top happening so i guess market structure was changing because this is an uptrend i guess it did break the uptrend formation so maybe i should have paid attention to that more i respected this let's say
Let's do a double top. Let's see a pullback happen. But no, pullback. Just continuation. Interesting. I wouldn't take this trade. I'm just I just wanna see what would have happened. been a good trade if nah I would have lost it but it's I think pretty decent but let's see here okay so, uh, I can't even go to the four hour because the four hour just tell me what's gonna happen so an uptrend what time is this 10 30 like look at the market bro so Weird. I guess after this he could have gotten a tray right here. I would have probably got it in a trade in here. Would have been like oh uptrend. Very high. I mean yeah, higher, high, 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 higher, low. Would have placed this here or this here. Would have been triggered in. One for one to one. Got tapped out. But other than this. Uh, let's put this here. And I got through this right here. And I would have gotten tapped out. Ah. Uh. So what should I be doing? Like, that would have just been a losing trade for me because that's how I would have traded. Like, actually, right here. That would have been up around seven something in the morning. Seeing this happening, be like, oh, okay, perfect entry. We lost that trade. And if by any chance I wouldn't have, I don't, I don't think I would have done this. Like, cause this, look at it. It looks like an uptrend to me. Plus, according to market structure, it was, to me, an, up, an uptrend because I will see this still as an uptrend. But maybe I should pay attention more to my market trend line, but hey, I could just, I guess it doesn't touch this. I don't know. Whatever. It was a bad day. Ah, uh, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Just let this load up. What just happened, bro? What the hell? Took a cell, like around here. But then I probably took G instead of E. Space. That was the thing this whole week. I was taking E instead of G and I mean G instead of E, and I would have won probably my Euro pairs. But whatever. Anyways, um, what's happening online? Yeah. Would I have gotten an entry? Is the question. Maybe if I would have looked at this level, 
space a bit over here. Maybe I could have gotten an entry. This would have been a nice entry for me. But what time is this? 10 30? Place this. Below here? Or below here? Do I see that as a possible level I can reach? Alright, let's see. Tell me. Alright. What should I be doing this week? Because just on this Euro pair, it's like. Then I should be doing it not below these. Maybe be just below this candle. Maybe a little, a few pips safer. A one to one. Or I should just be mindful of these key levels and just... I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um... Anyways. That was my week. I would've had a lot more wins, I think, if I would've... Just um, placed my stop loss below... 15 minute candles rather than whole structures or also been a little bit more sure of my bias which i think that was also an issue this week i was just more confused about what was going on so i wasn't 100 percent sure about my bias and um also like be a little bit more quicker about entering some trades uh, just a tiny bit not something out of my um, trading plan but for sure just like i was showing you these little candles right here like these it's, i don't have to look for so much confirmation this i wouldn't enter because it's just a complete push i would have entered i would have entered like this right here but the other day where you know whatever there was some you know you, you, you saw the video so there was just enough of a confirmation that a downtrend wasn't continuing or there was some hesitation i could have taken a trade right there so this is something this is just that all i've done on euro um, eu but um i'm gonna go ahead and try this out on ej we'll go ahead and try this on gu and gj um and just kind of figure out what it is that i need to do for next week have a little bit this also adds a little bit more confidence in me as a trader and my trading plan and know that it was just a few mistakes, but it's not like the only way that I did. So um, I'll see you guys Monday. Hopefully this next week is much better than uh, the last week, all right guys? Well, thank you guys for watching. This is kind of like my little review, how I analyze my week. And um, thanks for watching. So like and subscribe.